Well, I was very, very proud to uh, sign uh, the Winnipeg Indigenous Discord on uh, behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Real School Division. It was a fantastic event and meant a lot to me personally. It means a lot to us as a board. So Indigenous education has become a central part of our, uh, of our curriculum and uh, that's by board decision. We've worked very hard on this over the, the last few years. We've made a conscious decision to uh, emphasize uh, Indigenous education. And Indigenous education is not just uh, educating Indigenous people, but bringing Indigenous ideas and learning methods into uh, our curriculum. So that's something that we've been working very hard on. Uh, we have um, uh, graduation powwows. We have our own elder working with our kids. Uh, we have a great focus on uh, Indigenous uh, languages and learning. Uh, again, for all of our students, not just for our Indigenous students. And we think that's very important. In our response to the calls to action and, and in our signing of the Indigenous Court, we focused on number 63 and working hard in providing curriculum and opportunities for building teacher capacity for the benefit of students in the areas of residential schools, treaty education, and language programming. If you've had a chance to uh, spend any time in a kindergarten classroom, in a grade one classroom, to see uh, all these kids of all of these uh, different uh, ethnocultural backgrounds learning Ojibwe, learning about the Anishinaabe culture, using the Ojibwe language, singing in Ojibwe, counting in Ojibwe, but it's, it's, it's so exciting. Uh, it's just a wonderful thing to see. The LRSD Powell Club um, really is a club uh, that represents the diversity of our community. Um, students from all ages and cultural backgrounds participate in this club bi-weekly and now weekly. Uh, it's a real demonstration of reconciliation in that we are all working together uh, for a common goal in getting ready for the graduation powwow on May 23rd, experiencing uh, traditional Indigenous ways of, of dance, um, learning about the drum, learning about ceremonies, and it has been a great exercise in, in bringing community together. You know, LRSD staff members uh, generously volunteering their time. Of course, the students who are, are dancing and working so hard. The parents have been a huge part of the success of this program. We have parents who are coming and staying. We have parents who are helping so regalia as we want all our students who have worked so hard to be able to be introduced to the powwow circle at our graduation powwow with the regalia. But the key thing about the powwow club is that it's fun and we're getting together and celebrating who we are and celebrating who we are as a community and celebrating who we are as Canadians. We've been working hard with teachers from around the division to collaborate on what's working for them when it comes to helping students understand about treaties and our shared relationships as Canadians. This year we have developed a treaty education portal through K-8 that helps connect teachers from around the division um, with resources, with lessons and with ideas. We had teachers develop and participate in creating lesson plans, gathering resources, researching what's available, what's out there, from videos to books to maps and timelines, all kinds of things. These teachers have access at their fingertips to this web portal of information, um, not just treaty education specifically, but Indigenous education. So representing all groups of Indigenous people across Canada, Inuit, Métis, First Nations, um, and working collaboratively together with non-First Nations people too so that we can build relationships because that's what treaty is about. The Treaty Relations Commission of Manitoba has provided great materials and great resources for us. We're trying to make it um, approachable for everyone. We want all our students in Louisville School Division to learn about treaties every year. I think it's going to go a long way to helping to, us to understand about the treaties and at some point, you know, when you have the students and the teachers themselves have these types of things 
accessible and available to them. It's just going to be a natural progression that we're going to understand the treaties and the treaties are going to become such a natural part of our history that we're not going to say, what is that all about? That, you know, what are these documents that were signed in 1871 that we're going to understand it and we're going to em embrace it as part of our, our history. The treaty education document is also a living document so even though it's it's up now it's up now with the lessons and resources that we have currently been developed but this is something that we're going to continue to work at and grow um, for the benefit of our students and the benefit of all our students understanding about about treaties and about history Our Indigenous Youth Leadership students are students from across the division representing all our high schools and we meet on a monthly basis. What we focus on is student voice and the elements of the circle of courage and belonging, mastery, independence and generosity uh, within these students. To help students find their voice, in some cases to help students um, be able to share their gifts uh, with others and to help students advocate for what's important to them and, and be leaders, not just in our Louis Riel School Division community, but leaders within Winnipeg and the country. It's a very, very powerful group of students. These group of students, when we first met with them, you know, we weren't sure of the path, we weren't sure of the goal, but they have really come together and um, have demonstrated leadership in so many ways throughout the division and have had opportunities to talk to their peers about who they are as Indigenous students, what's important to them, and about their culture and gifts. So it's it's been a really neat exercise. It's been a really neat thing to watch, is these students finding ways to share, share their voice and share their gifts. One can only dream about where this could go, you know. Uh, when I allow myself to dream, what I'm hoping for uh, children in LRSD, for families in LRSD, is that uh, kids and all children in kindergarten, grade one, two, three, will be exposed to the Ojibwe language. When I was elected eight years ago, uh, this was not a priority for our board, but it quickly became a priority. And that's because the board made it a priority, the board made a conscious decision and I'm very proud of our board for, for making that decision to bring Indigenous education into our curriculum and into our educational system here in LRS. I think that it's a great um, reflection. I'm proud that the Treaty Relations Commission had a hand in terms of bringing treaty education to, to Louis Riel School Division and, and Louis Riel School Division taking it upon themselves to say, yeah, we want to learn about this. We think that this, the treaties are valuable and we want to be able to pass that on to, to the students. So I think it's a great partnership, it's a great relationship, and I hope that that's something that can be fostered in the future. I think it could be the start of something really big and really amazing for all divisions all over the, the province and the country. I feel very thankful and honored to be part of a city that values reconciliation um, to the point where we're going to, to do the Indigenous Accord. I'm also very proud to be working in a school division that provides and supports opportunities for students to get a better idea of identity and, and who they are and working together in the spirit of reconciliation. 